Hello and uh, welcome back. So if you have been following along, uh, this is the uh, uh, session three of database encryption. So on the previous sessions, we did talk about some history of SQL Server encryption as well as the components that were involved in SQL Server encryption. And also we talked about cell or column level encryption. Now in this series, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about backup encryption. So the by the end of this video, you should be able to configure uh, backup encryption by your own. So now the importance of backup encryption is, uh, let's go ahead and say that you are administrating a database, in this case, let's say DCM, and you're regularly taking a backup of it and dump it into a NAS drive. And one time this bad guy accessing your NAS drive and make a copy of your uh, databases, and he should be able to restore it to his own machine if your backup is not encrypted. So that's why if, if, if your backup is encrypted and th that would be a different case for him because if he doesn't have the certificate with which that you uh, encrypted your backup, he sh his restoration process will fail. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about this in a, a little bit and actually configure them. So now in order to uh, encrypt a backup of a database, uh, we wanna make sure we have a master key in place and then a certificate protected by this master key. And once the certificate is created, we wanna make sure we have a backup of that certificate. And the reason for that is if you want to restore the, uh, that encrypted backup file to a different machine, we do need this certificate along with a private key to recreate it on the different machine in order to be able to restore an encrypted backup file. Okay, so now this, that's it. Let's go ahead and uh, create a backup of this, um, uh, actually an encrypted backup of this uh, database. So uh, right click task, um, backup and remove add. So this is the path. I'm gonna go say uh, DCM underscore encrypted underscore folder back. And then we go in here under uh, the media option. You wanna make sure you select this and created this encrypted backup into a new media set. Uh, let's say new encrypted media. And if you want to give some explanation in there, you're welcome. And the next item in here would be to select encrypt uh, backup. Now you do have a series of algorithms available to you with which you can actually encrypt the backups and run this algorithm to encrypt the backups. And also, certificate or symmetry key with which that you want to encrypt the backups with. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, script this. Uh, so we can, we should be able to see some of these options that we gone through uh, in a text format, actually a scripted format. So we are taking up a backup of DCM database into this location. This is my uh, location. I probably need this in order to make sure our backup is encrypted. I will show it to you in a second. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so now the backup is created. Uh, so in, uh, and the it is under the backup uh, folder in here. So the backup is in there. Uh, right here. So we want to make sure this backup file is actually encrypted. So what we can do is we, we go ahead and read the header of that, back, that backup file. So restore database from, okay, actually not database, restore header only from disk equal to and right there okay so this restore header only uh, will give me the some information about the backup file so as you can see in here is that's the database the backup name in there and if i scroll down all the way in here 
uh, there are some options about the encryption so it tells me this backup file is being encrypted by the algorithm 256 and this is the thumbprint and this encryption type and it was encrypted by e certificate so that tells me that my backup which uh, is locating at this location is actually encrypted now the next option here is what i'm going to do in here i want to make sure i am able to restore this backup file so what i'm going to do in here is i'm going to go ahead and delete some of these tables uh, from this database that we have an encrypted backup uh, of it so let's go ahead and delete it and delete the second one now, what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to go ahead and restore the uh, backup uh, and I should be able to do it because I do have the certificate created within this um, uh, machine. Okay, so I should be able to do this because this certificate exists in here. Now, if, if, if I was on a different machine, I should, I should first create the certificate along with a private key, then come in here and restore the backup file so but for now I'm good uh, let's go ahead and restore it in here go let's go and okay actually pre-selecting the uh, backup file for me I for I don't need them and the reason for that is I want to show it to you that I'm actually selecting the encrypted backup file so that was the one, uh, DCM encrypted full backup. And okay, here, I'm gonna go ahead, relocate and options, override it because I already have it. Uh, and if you don't have it, uh, of course you don't wanna override any database. Make sure you restore it with recovery. And in here, you wanna close any connections. Uh, if you have any connection to the database, and those connections should be closed other than that you will get an error saying that database is in use so let's go ahead and click on okay okay the database has been successfully restored uh, let's go ahead and refresh and see if those tables are back to our database okay so yeah i do have those databases in here let's go ahead and run a query uh, against a table let's select some uh, top thousand rows and here we go the data is in there and the, the, those tables are coming back to this database uh, i guess that's it for um, backup encryption and as i mentioned before uh, if we have a encrypted backup of this and this guy accessing it he will fail to restore it because he doesn't have the certificate with which you encrypted the backups with so it is very good to have always your databases encrypted uh, okay so what we have gone through in this lesson is we talked about backup encryption we did create a master key a certificate and then we use that certificate to encrypt our um, database backup file and also we took up a uh, backup of the certificate in case if you want to restore the back encrypted backup of this database into a different machine and uh, then we were actually deleted some tables and then restored it uh, back from the encrypted backup file so i guess that's it for this uh, demonstration what i'm going to do in here is i'm going to go ahead and stop this video i will come back on next session and talking about always encrypted which is new to sql server 2016 and i hope i see you in there